I'm Jessica Gaudet with your Thursday evening KRQE.com webcast. We start with the weather. Here's Mark. Things are relatively quiet for now, but by tomorrow they get more interesting. Storm system is going to close in on the state for us tomorrow night and into Saturday. The problem with this particular storm is it's not going to hold a whole lot of moisture. So occasional snow showers for the southern mountains and a spot shower possible in central sections. But the bigger story is a cold front coming into eastern New Mexico late on Sunday and throughout the day on Monday. We're going to top out with our highs in the mid 20s across the east. Albuquerque will top out in the mid 30s. UNM says it is reviewing a lawsuit that claims there was bid rigging in the $60 million renovation of the pit. Unions representing New Mexico construction workers have filed the suit against Flint Rock, the Oklahoma company that got the job. Documents show Jane's Corporation of Albuquerque initially had the best score by far of companies competing for the job. But after reviews, interviews rather, UNM officials apparently changed the score sheets and Flintco got the contract even though it charged two and a quarter million dollars more. The lawsuit claims Flintco's CEO is a good friend of UNM President Dr. David Schmidley and that in return for getting the pit deal, Flintco hired Schmidley's son. Flintco denies doing anything wrong and says it got the job because of its qualifications and professional experience with UNM. Smithley released a written statement. It doesn't deny the charges. It only says he's disappointed in the personal nature of the attacks on himself, his family, and his friends. The city of Albuquerque has a plan to help the city's homeless population. The idea is to get 75 of Albuquerque's most chronic homeless off the streets by giving them a place to live. While living rent free, the 75 people will be set up with nonprofit groups to help them with their individual problems. The city says the program will also save taxpayers money because the housing will cost less in the end than having to pay for emergency room visits and trips to jail. The program is being paid for with grants and by shifting some city funds. Join us for the latest local news, weather, and sports tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.